Okay, Kylie is back at it again. Affordable denim? Where? I could literally find the same pair on the high street for like a quarter of the price. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title today, we are going to be trying out the fifth drop of Kai by Kylie Jenner. If you've been on my channel before, you may already know that I've literally tested every single Kai drop that has ever been released. So this is the fifth one of, let's call it the Kai saga. This time around, she's released Denim. And this is a very, very interesting move on Kylie's part. There is already many great denim brands out there who specialize in jeans so I don't really know how these are gonna compare to some of my favorite jeans but that is what this video is about I'm gonna try them out so you guys don't have to if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel if you guys want to stick around be sure to subscribe down below but if you guys want to see what this new Kai drop is all about then without further ado let's get into it all right so first things first I have my order right here it actually came in a bag this time rather than a box which is kind of strange because normally it does come in a cardboard box everything that is in this bag right here has come to a total of 652 pounds or the equivalent of 818 dollars which is quite a lot of money i do feel that i've actually picked up every single item or maybe almost every single item in this collection and in all the different colors that were available along with the jeans she did also release a bunch of pretty plain and basic tops with a little bit of a twist so i did pick up those as well so here is everything in the bag let's start off with the top item we have one of the black tops okay here it is this is the single sleeve t-shirt which Honestly, I feel like is a little bit of a gimmick. Kylie keeps releasing these like one sleeve items and I just don't really understand who was actually wearing these out because it really looks like they just forgot to sew the other sleeve on. Now I am a fan of like asymmetrical things as much as the next person. However, this was 55 pounds and it really does just seem like a ripoff. Let's see what the fabric is made of first of all. So it's 94% cotton and 6% elastane. Okay, I mean, at least it's made of cotton, but I just don't really understand how a little t-shirt like this can be 55 pounds. I don't know if you guys can see the detail, but it's basically got like this super twisted kind of strap on one end. I got the t-shirt in an extra small, and to be honest, it does feel nice, but it does feel like a very expensive black t-shirt. Now with the black t-shirt, let's go for the black pair of denim jeans. Okay, my apologies, this is actually not black. It's more of a dark wash, which it does say in the listing. To be honest, on camera, it looks almost black, but yeah, it's a very, very dark sort of navy color. Also, a quick disclaimer of this product. It actually comes with this label that says, disclaimer info, crocking. This product has gone through a dyeing process that may cause it to transfer color into other garments or upholstery. I mean, dang. So a girl literally can't even sit on her own sofa without this color transferring onto it. That's crazy. These trousers were 115 pounds, so a little bit cheaper, I guess. I see why. On the website, these are classed as the classic straight leg denim jeans. So I guess they're not too high waisted and not too low rise, I guess somewhere in between. This is how they're looking. They have that yellow kind of thread going through them, which I quite like. But again, there's not really anything special about them. I just don't understand how these can be so expensive. Now I got these jeans in the size at 29 and I really didn't know what kind of size to go for. I didn't know how stretchy these were gonna be. I'm normally a size 28 waist, but I went for 20 just in case and to be honest I'm glad I did because they literally have no stretch whatsoever all right guys so here is the first outfit and what it looks like on I have to say I am not a huge fan of the denim right off the bat. I don't know, they just look really, really strange on me. And maybe it's just the fact that I'm a hater when it comes to low rise stuff, but I don't know, I just feel like they look not that great. I'm wearing them low rise as they're supposed to be. And I just feel like my crotch is all the way down to the floor. Like why is there such a big gap? My actual crotch ends here and this just goes so far down. I just don't understand it. Also, as you can see, I've purposefully lowered with the camera down so you guys can see how far the denim jeans go and Honestly, they're sitting and bunching up at the shoes quite strangely. It's just because they're super, super long and I'm quite a short girl. I'm like five foot five, I think. And 
Yeah, they're just way too long for me. I also found that at one of the earliest drops of Kai, they just tend to make their trousers super, super long, which is great for the tall people out there, but for somebody like me who's quite short, they're just not really wearable. As for the top, the top is all right. It fits really nicely around the chest, the waist and everything else, but I don't know, I just still don't really like this whole one sleeve thing. I do also understand that if they did add the extra sleeve in just to match the other side, I probably would be saying, why is this top 50 pounds when it's literally just a simple plain black top? So it's kind of a double-edged sword. I think to begin with, they should have made the prices of the tops a little bit more affordable, but instead Kylie decided to chuck in this one sleeve missing thing and I just don't really understand it. Let me know what you guys think of this outfit. Honestly, I just don't really feel like myself. I would never wear a pair of trousers like this. Also, this is what they look like from the back. I don't know. They're just not really doing it for me. A hundred and 40 pounds for these trousers. It's just not worth it, you guys. It really isn't. There's not much stretch to them at all. They don't really fit me that great. So I'm gonna give this whole outfit probably like a three out of 10. All right, now moving on to the next item. We're now gonna be trying out this top right here. This is called the Boxy Cropped Tee in White. I got this in an extra small. Let's see what this is all about. It looked quite nice on the model. It's a very plain and basic item. As you can see, this would be quite a nice like over your sports bra kind of top because it's cinched in at the bottom so it wouldn't fly up as you're doing sports. But it would still have like that looseness to it and bagginess, which I like. Anyway, there is really not much to kind of show to this top. It's just literally elasticated at the bottom and let's see how stretchy that is. Okay, it's quite stretchy. It's got that bat wing sort of drooped sleeve, which I like, but honestly, I recently purchased one like this from ASOS and it was like 20 pounds. Now, to go with the white top, I think I'm gonna go for the darker sort of style denim jeans. These are called the classic low rise denim jeans and these were quite expensive as you would expect from anything to do with Kai. These bad boys were 140 pounds. I mean, literally when this drop came out, Kai described it as affordable denim and I just don't really understand how that is affordable. It really isn't. And if she's calling 140 pound jeans affordable, I wonder what non-affordable is to her. I would normally never pay over 100 pounds for a pair of denim jeans. Like that is ridiculous. How much better can the quality of denim get? I mean, this pair of denim jeans literally just feels like any other pair of denim jeans I have already in my wardrobe. Here is what the sort of top of them look like. They have the little pockets. They have the little like coin pocket, I guess. The top is slightly like frayed as you can see but it's not like anything special about them really now these are pretty wide legged as you can see and the color is pretty much like the same all throughout it's literally just a very flat pair of solid denim jeans there's not much to them i have no idea why these are 140 pounds this is what they look like in the back as well so yeah i mean i'm a little bit underwhelmed here but let's go try the two items together and see what they look like on all right guys here is the next outfit and what it looks like on. As you can see, the jeans are a lot more baggy than I expected personally. They're also a lot lower rise than I expected also. I really thought that these were gonna sit maybe about here, like showing a little bit of the belly button, but not fully low rise like this. I don't know how I feel about them, but they definitely feel very, very large. Maybe I should have sized down so that they would sit a little bit higher. I think personally, I probably would have preferred that a little bit more, but oh well. This is how they want to sit naturally, so let's just do that. As you can see, these trousers are also very, very long. I mean, I'm literally treading on them as I stand. So yeah, these are definitely a little bit too long. If any of you guys are around my height, I honestly strongly advise you guys to not purchase any jeans or trousers from Kai. It's such a shame, but they just really don't tailor to us. Why do they only tailor to tall people? To be honest, I wouldn't even consider myself that short. I would say I'm an average height. So I feel like in the future, if they're going to dabble in denim and things like this they definitely need to do like a tall range and a short range i mean this is literally just not okay look at this i'm literally treading on my own trousers i think for me the thing about these trousers that i don't really like is how low the crotch is again everything just seems to look so droopy and baggy and almost like i've pooed my pants <laughs> 
literally no other way to say it. It looks like I've pooed my pants. And the poo is just hanging around in there, you know? Yeah, I'm not really going for that kind of look. So I'm going to give the jeans probably like a two. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. I've literally never given such low ratings to any of my Kai like product reviews, I'm pretty sure. As for the top, there's literally nothing wrong with it. I like the way that it sits. I like the way it's cinched in at the waist. The sleeves are like the perfect length. I actually am considering keeping this. It's definitely right up my street and something that I will actually wear. So the top is gonna get a nine out of 10. It would have had a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't so bloody expensive. Moving on to the next outfit, we're now gonna be trying out this top right here. And this top is the off the shoulder cinching tee. I got this in an extra small and it was 79 pounds. So literally the most expensive top of this whole collection. To be honest though, I see why, because when I saw a picture of Kylie, I think wearing this, it did look really interesting. It didn't look very plain. I mean, comparing this to some of the other tops in this collection, I can definitely see that this one has had way more design features put into it. So as you can see, it's a very deep neckline. It's almost like off the shoulders and it has all this like ruching on the side. I can't really show it very well, but it's kind of like pinched. It then also has this like peplum effect going on at the bottom. It almost looks like it has a corset right here in this midsection. On the back, you also have a zipper going all the way down and it's even got some like cool paneling sort of detailing, which I really like. It does feel like a very nice fabric. It doesn't look to be see-through or maybe too see-through. I guess we'll see. And then the way that I've seen that top paired was with the lightest wash pair of jeans. These are the classic high-rise denim jeans in the size 29 and these were also 140 pounds, but I feel that I might have left the best till last. I think personally, I'm gonna like these the best because naturally, if you know me, I just love anything high-rise. I'm not really a fan of like low-rise stuff. It's just never been my thing. I know it's really making a comeback right now, but I just, yeah, I don't really like it. So here we have something a little bit tailored to the high-waisted galleys out there. As you can see, they are pretty high-waisted, which is definitely right up my street. I love the color of them as well. I do wish that she had also released like a lighter wash kind of pair of jeans, even lighter than this. As you can see, they're super like wide-legged, which I love. The hem is super frayed on the bottom as well. So visually, these are definitely my favorite pair, but I guess we'll see what they look like on. And still, I really don't think that these are worth the money, like 140 pounds for these. I guess we'll see how we feel about these two when I try them on. All right, guys, here is the third outfit and what it looks like on. I have to say, I like both of these items separately for different reasons. But to be honest with you, I don't know if it makes that great of an outfit together. I feel like the top is very like structured and tailored. Whereas the trousers are very much like skateboardy kind of vibes. You know what I'm saying? They're so baggy and so loose that they almost look like they're a bit more sporty. However, the top looks a little bit more like polished and a little bit more glamorous, if you know what I mean. So I almost feel like these two don't really go together very well. I would definitely wear the jeans alone with like a super simple strappy crop top, something very tight, just to kind of balance it out. But I don't know, like the peplum thing just really isn't giving with these jeans. I love this off the shoulder kind of bardo moment and the ruched sleeves look really cool. But yeah, maybe not with these jeans. So I don't really know what Kylie's vision was there. I've definitely seen her pair this top with these exact pair of jeans and I don't know, it looked okay on her, but on me, maybe I'm just a bit too critical. The jeans are actually really nice. They fit perfectly around the waist. So I just want to put that out there. I got these in a 29 and I did that for all the other jeans. And look at that. These ones fit exactly around the waist as the others would, but the others just look so droopy and just so oversized and baggy on me. So I feel like the sizing is definitely a little bit of a hit and miss with Kai, so definitely be aware of that. And once again, we have the exact same problem of the trousers just being so long, they literally go on forever. I really like the look of them though and how baggy they are. I feel like they're just the right amount of bagginess and this is what they look like from the back as well. To be honest, I don't know if they look amazing from the back. They definitely make me look very flat. So the trousers, I mean, they fit a lot better around the waist this time. So I'm gonna give these probably like a five out of 10. I'm a little bit on the fence about them. As for the top, there's literally nothing wrong with it. It was quite expensive, but I do like all the designs 
design features that have gone into this. So I'm gonna give this a probably like an eight out of 10. And now moving on to the very last item, we actually have another top. I've tried all the different pairs of denim jeans in all the different colors, but there is one more top we've not tried from the collection. And that is the long sleeve tee. This was 67 pounds, which again is quite a lot for just a black top. This is gonna have to be amazing in order for me to keep it and like it, but I do have a feeling that I might like the bag. So from the front, it's a really, really plain and simple black top. Literally, there is no design features to it at all. But from the back, it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it actually has like a lace-up kind of tie up detailing with this huge cutout in the back. I'll pop a photo on screen so you guys can really get the gist of it. But yeah, I mean, it's a very interesting top. It's one that you definitely cannot wear a bra with unless it's like a clear strap one because you're just gonna see it at the back. I think I'm gonna try this top with that last pair of jeans we tried on and see what it looks like. All right, and here is the very last black top with the light pair of jeans. And honestly, again, it's quite simple from the front, very, very casual and not really much to it. The party of this top is all in the bag and this is what it looks like. I've just cinched it in as much as I possibly could to really get that tightness on the front. And honestly, I don't know if I love it, but at least it's somewhat of a design feature that some of the tops were definitely missing. I still think that this top is very overpriced for what it is and I don't really think I'm gonna be keeping it. So I'm gonna give this top probably like a six out of 10. All right guys, so that was everything for today's video of me trying out the new Kai Drop 5. Let me know your thoughts on this drop. Do you think it's still a cash grab? Do you think it's a ripoff? Because I'm a little bit on the fence. I do think the quality is good, but it's definitely way too expensive for what it is. You could totally find the same kind of pieces on the high street for like a third or quarter of the price. Let me know which one of these items was your favorite. I feel like my favorite was definitely the light pair of jeans, which I already knew would be the case. If you guys want me to do any more like celebrity clothing reviews, definitely let me know in the comments what brands you want me to try out next. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye. Mwah.